You are heading to Paris as a commentator for the 2024 Olympics. So yeah. exciting. Yeah. How do you feel about heading to Paris as part of the broadcast team? I feel honored, honestly. I feel honored and I'm uh, very excited to be able to talk about something that I've been a part of my whole life and that I've literally put blood, sweat and tears into. And um, obviously I would love to be skating and representing America in the Olympics. But for me, being able to talk about it and actually portray the feelings of, of what's going on through these athletes mind um, is just as important. So to me, it's my way to be involved with uh, Paris Olympics 2024 and, and I'm stoked. If you were competing, how many gold medals do you think you would bring home? <laughs> I would be stoked just to get there. That's realistically how gnarly the level of skateboarding is right now that uh, for me to be able to even go there to compete, I would have to change 100% my trick selection, how I prepared, and uh, what I would have to do to get there. So um, it's just a different generation. It's a different level of skateboarding, and the level is going to be something we've never seen before. What athlete are you most excited to see this Olympics? I mean, I'm going to go biased in skateboarding just because of what Jagger Eaton is, is trying to accomplish by being the first skateboarder to actually compete in two different aspects of skateboarding, park and street. And I think if he can do what he is practicing and setting out to do, he will make history and live forever um, as an Olympian in, in two different aspects of skateboarding. And it's really hard to do that. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how um, the outcome of his uh, Olympic run is going to be.